And again, there's a breath. If you have a hard time determining that, making them take a deep breath to slow their heart rate down and focusing on which one's the S1 and the S2 sound will help you to determine that as well. So say, okay, I think you're hearing this murmur. You're in the right area. It's all correlating to what you're thinking is going on. Now I want you to take a deep breath and slowly let it out, and that will slow their heart rate down to where you can hear it a little bit better because it separates that S2 into the two different ones. That will also extenuate and make it more obvious for your gallop rhythm too because that's where that S4 and S3 is at the, S3 is at the end of S2 and S4 is at the beginning of S1. So you're pausing that and you're able to hear all of those again. So if they're inhaling thin, you would hear three sounds? Of the split? It's slowing it down, yeah. So, so you hear the S1 two, is one, S2 is two. It can be two, yes. One but it can be four yeah. with okay. your gallop. <coughs> right. Okay. Yeah. That's but that's not a patho thing. That's because it's called a physiological split. split. Right. In it's splitting of S2. That's all I right. You can grade murmurs. There's the grading system. So how you would document a normal, and you've seen it a gazillion times, regular rate and rhythm, no murmurs, clicks, rubs, or gallops appreciated. Basically what's on your, you could use what's on here. That's a normal what? If it was a murmur, you would obviously tell. Systolic murmur, heard best over the left sternal vertebra, or whatever intercostal space, grading it out of two out of six. Is that cool? Your click is also known as an opening snap, yeah. and that's what you hear with mindful valve prolapse. That's when the valves <laughs> are closing, but they don't just go to close, they go back and forth. So it swings, the door swings both ways like in a saloon. That's what's going on with mitral valve prolapse. And there's a lot of little funky clicks, gallops, rubs, da 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 in cards. And once you get those diseases, you'll know what that equates to when you're like, what is a click? What is a gallop? you'll get what that means when you get those disease states. And that's actually the word you use. Mm -hmm. Opening snap, heard on, click, appreciated, gallop, locate. I mean, that's the word we use. Last but not least, there are um, four special maneuvers. Um, you're going to need to do all four. I will tell you there are two SPs, rows and um, joy that cannot squat. And this is something you can mind well because if you have an elderly patient, I mean, it's kind of hard for some people to do this, right? Um, so they are going to tell you, so I want you to have a curveball here. They're going to tell you, I'm sorry, I can't squat. So what you're going to need to do is just say, okay, well, what I would do is I would make you squat for 10, 15, and blah, 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 blah. you just verbally say it to them and you're totally cool. Here's your so squatting, you listen over the area. So special tests again, like in pulmonic, like in the pulm section, you don't do these every time. You do these if you appreciated a murmur or something funky and you're like, I need to hone in on this or do some tests to piece it out to see if something's going on. That's when you would do these. So squatting, you listen over the area where the murmur was heard with patient squatting for 15 seconds. And it's a full 15 seconds. So if you have to do the one Mississippi, two Mississippi, do it. People are like, what? and you're done. Stand up. Not going to work. Have them, have them squat for 15 seconds, um, and you're listening. So wherever you hear the murmur, you're placing the stethoscope, and you're like doing this. They're, you got it on their heart, and they're doing this, and you've got it placed there. There is an instance. This was I had this on my board. This was a board question. A hypertrophic cardiomyopathy has a specific murmur with it. It's the one funky one that changes or does the opposite of what most murmurs do with valsalving, standing, and squatting. And it tells it right there what it does. I didn't even finish up. You have them squat for 15 seconds. Then you have them stand and listen to the same area for 15 seconds. With um, HCM, the murmur decreases when they squat. 
which is the opposite for other ones. Most of them will increase when they squat, but not hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And you understand that disease process to know why that is. I, I'm not going to get into that. And then when they stand, the murmur increases, as where most murmurs go away. So that's how, a way to know, I think this is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Valsalva, you have the patient bear down for 20 seconds. That's a long time, actually. 20 seconds is a long time. So valsalving, say, say, it's like you're going to have a bowel movement. Um, you can have them put their finger in their mouth. And, well, that's one way I make my patients sick, because they're like, what do you mean? What does that even mean? I just make them put their finger and blow. But you get 20 seconds of that, it makes the in-person dizzy. Mm -hmm. You would have your stethoscope over the place of the murmur that you thought you heard. The murmur um, would increase, if, which goes along with what the squatting is, but it would decrease with other murmurs. And the last two are inspiration and expression, so deep. So, I mean, they're really taking it in. Right-sided murmurs will increase with inspiration. With expiration, left-sided murmurs will increase. The last bullet point would go with rows and them. You can actually still do it in certain instances. You basically just make them lay down and you have them uh, passively lift their leg if they can because it increases the venous return. But for the SP, don't do it. Just say, I would have done this. Okay, so let's go over. Any questions? Any questions? Do you guys hear anything weird on each other? Yeah, let us know. 33% um, uh, adult females will have a mitral valve prolapse. So some of you are going to have Let's go over there and we'll cut down. We'll cut down your visit slot in 15 minutes. Yeah. Last time people did not take the whole time. <laughs> well, I just don't want you to be, I, you can do what you want, but I don't want you to be, not get the full experience. <laughs> If you want to, you can. Okay, look for over there, guys.